is that I visited and I do training for um, my customers. They have all these safety signages located in all those activity area. Okay, these are the safety signages to remind the workers that you are not allowed to enter the workplace without using a safety highway Google, okay, for air protection. Then uh, safety shoes, of course. Then maybe the place is noisy, very high noise. Then you need to use your ear plug or ear muff, okay. Then uh, a respirator, which I'm going to talk to you about today. And also a paint suit, a coverall. And lastly, the gloves that I mentioned just now, right? Now, um, when my colleague Hanin just now mentioned about all those products, okay, we have um, a special label which attaches all these products. I can show you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, I give an example of what I'm showing here at the slide. Okay, every product that you purchase has got the SDS safety data sheet. Okay, when you purchase a product, a chemical especially, please spend some time on reading the safety data sheet, which it will explain to you okay, how to use this product. Okay, what we need is suitable to be used and what harm it can do to you and how you need to protect yourself. Alright? So, these are the very important data attached to all the chemical, especially spray paint that you buy. Spend some time doing it. Okay? Then it will tell you what type of PPE that is not going to Alright? Now, I have to move on. Okay, you can see the slide. I mentioned some of the health effect when you're exposed to this chemical, especially the spray paint. Huh? Just now you can see, okay, when we do the demo, okay, you can see the vapor produced, okay, from the spray paint. If you inhale it, okay, these are the effects it can cause you short term and long term. Short term, of course, um, it will give you uh, dizziness, nausea. Vomiting if you expose it a long time. Okay, long term, okay, it will give you, of course, I always say, when you have a nervous system breakdown, then you can have cancer as well. So it's very important for you to pay attention on this dangerous uh, chemical that you're handling. Okay, spray painters, please pay attention. Yeah? Okay, in Malaysia, all those personal protective equipment, I mentioned on PPE, stand for personal protective equipment. Okay, these are governed and it's already stipulated by the Department of Occupational Safety and Health or DOSH or in Bahasa we call it Jabatan Keselamatan dan Kesehatan Pekerja which is under the Ministry of Human Resource. Okay, this department, their job is to ensure that the workers are safe from health and also the welfare at the workplace and also others who is affected from that industry, okay? Especially from manufacturing and of course, the worst is construction, right? So this is the JKKP uh, function in Malaysia. And uh, we also have another body called CIRIN, uh, stand for Standard and Industrial Research of Malaysia. Okay, these two bodies have joined up, okay? What they do is they go to the manufacturer of this PPE, okay, to see, make sure that this PPE has gone through testing and stringent control so that when you use the PPE, okay, it is safe and also sustainable and durable. So when you go and buy your PPE, make sure it has got this serum and uh, label and approved. And uh, it's been only enforced that PPE in Malaysia must have serum and dosh approval. Uh, i give you an example. When you buy a respirator, for example, okay, you will have a sticker. Okay, this is the sticker here. Okay, for example, this is... Um, I'm going to show you this respirator today. Okay, I'm going to use it. And I'm going to assemble these two together. Okay, you can see there's a label here, a sticker. Okay, on this product. It shows that it has serum dosh approved. And uh, 
in the industrial uh, community, if you did not buy a same dose approved PPE, if JKKP or Dosh ever find out, uh, they're going to enforce a penalty. So the customer or the company will have to pay a fine for that. So they have only uh, put the enforcement since two years ago, I mean, sorry, since 2020. And for respiratory protection, it was in 1st of June 2022. All right? Okay, I'm not going to talk more about this. Now I'm going to stand for my demo of using uh, a respirator. Okay, now, this is one of the 3M uh, very unique product. Okay, this is a mask of the respirator. The model is 3M6502 QL. Stand for uh, QL stand for quick lash. Okay, quick lash meaning it has these drop down features whereby uh, when you wear a mask, okay, whenever you want to have a break, you do not have to take up the whole mask. You just have to do a drop down position, and you are able to dis uh, disengage the mask from uh, your, uh, your your face. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate to you how I'm going to use it. Okay. I'm not going to um, assemble the cartridge yet. I'm just going to use this first. Ah, okay. Alright, this works. Okay, this. Okay, I'm going to use this one first. Okay. What I mean is a drop down uh, position, uh, pre like this, when you put it on. Okay. Triangle shape, 
Can you see that? Okay. Yeah. So that triangular shape and this marking, right? The line, then half of a dozen clockwise. Okay, line first. Okay. okay. First, see the marking, the triangle line. Okay. Okay, one more time. After this, I'm going to make a competition. Okay, green faster. <laughs> okay, again, let me see. Let me demonstrate to you. Yeah? This is the, the marking of the cartridge. There's the marking on the mark. So, can you triangle the uh, point there? So, you line it. Line it. Line it. Okay, good. There you go. Still not. It's clockwise, half quarter turn. Yeah, I'm ready. Let me do mine. Yeah. Okay. Then I'm there. So, go there. Right? There you go. Try it on the side. Side use the side. Okay, there you go. Take the package. I'll use mine. Right? Alright, now. Oh yeah, we can close this. Okay, with the right hand holding the mask and the left hand holding the head harness. This is the head harness. Right? Okay. First, there's a chin rest for the mark. That's where you put the chin. Then, you will hand, put it on the left ground. Okay? Make sure you check. Okay. Okay, yes. Okay, there you go. And you have to go. Now it's time. I use, I do my first time, so I'm 